Hi guys, my name is Alex. I'm going to show you how to use ZBrush 4R4 to create such uh, tubes uh, which are created with curve multi meshes. Uh, and we're going to create this kind of curve uh, and this kind of curve. So this is a beginner's tutorial, so we're going to take it slow, step by step, just to make sure how everything is created. We are going to use only basic shapes and deform them with topology tools. We are not going to use any brushes. Uh, and let's get started. So just to make sure we are we are starting from the same platform we're going to uh, go up to preferences and uh, click initial initial uh, zbrush and okay this way we all have the same uh, starting point so we are going to open this site and we are going to dock tools in it I'm also having transformed uh, dot as well and we are going to start so we're going to click on this icon and we're going to select cylinder we're going to click and drag and press T on the keyboard or go up up here to click edit object so we are now in the 3D view and because this is a basic uh, basic object we can uh, set the size on the X and the Epsilon on the Z axis inner radius, edge divide, uh, vertical divide and taper. We are going to click shift F just to show the frame and we're going to set the edge divide to 100 and leave the vertical divide to 17 at 17 so now we have such cylinder and we have to make it polymesh 3D Now, under the subtool, we can see we have one subtool which we are going to duplicate now. Pressing on duplicate twice, now just once, and we're going to click on the eye icon just to hide the second one and we are going to change we made two copies because we're going to use the same basic form to create uh, the center part of the mesh and we're going to use the second one to create uh, the top part and the bottom part of the mesh so we are going to uh, press ctrl shift and we must make sure we have the select recta rectangle selected here and we're going to click drag and just select the top uh, no, we're going to make it so and we're going to press alt to make this red and everything will disappear uh, now we're going to hold control shift and track uh, and control shift alt so we are now on the other side and we are going to deselect this 
parts holding alt and now we have only this part selected now if we control shift and click drag we're going to see the other side the other part and now we have to delete with whatever is hidden so we click on the modify topology under the geometry and click delete hidden now if we look we have this uh, this tube just without the, out the, the top and the bottom and that's exactly what we want so now we are going to duplicate this uh, because we are going to use it to create two different center parts of the mesh. So let's make it happen. Now, if you probably don't have the transform tools uh, docked, so click, click. And now we're going to use active symmetry on the z axis and radial count of 6. And now we're going to control, uh, press control to select masking. Uh, and outside, outside the mesh, click on the canvas and drag down and select some polygons. Now because we have the symmetry selected, it's going to select uh, all around our mesh which is exactly what we want now we're going to go down under the tools and polygroups and we're going to click from masking and he's going to divide our mesh according to the masking applied so now we're going to control click and drag to make the mask disappear and now we're going to control shift and click on the polygons just to make them selected and pressing control and clicking on the canvas will mask it control shift click will show everything and control click on the canvas will invert the mask so now everything we are going to do with the apology tools are is going to affect only these unmasked uh, unmasked areas so now we're going to go up here to move or pressing the W on the keyboard and we're going to click on the we don't, we don't uh, need to have symmetry uh, on so we're going to click X on the keyboard now we're going to click on the on the mesh so on in zebra 4R4 the topology tools are great because if we click, click on the mesh the topology is uh, pulled outwards uh, according to the normal of the mesh so you, you only have to click once to have everything aligned now we're going to right click holding the right uh, right click button on the, on the mouse and on this inner part of the outer trees uh, we're going to just pull out just a little bit so now we get this intention or out tension, however you want to call them, and we're going to control, click and drag just to make the mask disappear. Now we have we have to group everything into one polygroup, so we're going to click group visible 
and we have our first 